Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a two-step equation with a fraction on one side of the equation. So we want to solve these two equations. We've got x over 6 plus 3 is equal to 11. Now let's just think how we usually solve equations. Usually we think about what's happening to about x or y or whatever the variable is and then sort of undo the last thing that was done to x. So if we just write this out in big, so we've got x over 6 plus 3 equals 11. Let's think what's happening to x. x has been divided by 6, and then we're adding 3. What was the last thing we did to x? Well, the last thing we did was adding 3, and we undo that by doing the opposite. The opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. So we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equation, you've got to do the same to the right-hand side of the equation. Now, the minus 3 just cancels out that plus 3, so we're just left with the x over 6. And on the right-hand side of the equation, 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. And now we've got a slightly simpler equation. Let's apply the same principle. We undo the last thing done to the variable, the x in this case. x has been divided by 6. How do we get rid of the divide by 6? Well, the opposite of divide by 6 is multiplying by 6. We multiply both sides of the equation by 6. So the multiplied by 6 on the left-hand side gets rid of that over 6, and we're just left with x. And then 8 times 6 on the right-hand side is 48, and that's the final answer. We've got x on its own, and we know that x is equal to 48. Let's do the same for the second equation. You can see it looks similar, but slightly different this time. So if I write it in big, x minus 8 over 2 is equal to 7. Again, let's think about what's happening to x, and then we're going to undo the last thing done to x. Well, x, first we subtracted 8 from it, and then it's been divided by 2. So the last thing that happened to x was it was divided by 2. So we do the opposite of divide by 2, which is to times both sides of the equation by 2. Now, if we do the left-hand side times by 2, we get rid of that over 2, and we're just left with the x minus 8. If we times the 7 by 2, we get 14. And now on the home straight, what was the last thing that happened to x? Well, we subtracted 8. We undo the subtract 8 by adding 8 to each side of the equation. So when we add 8, that gets rid of the minus 8, leaving just x. And on the right-hand side, 14 plus 8 is equal to 22. And that is the final answer.